Ladies, listen up. I want you to compete for a date with Kel Spencer. Who the heck is Kel Spencer, you ask? He's a rapper. Don't X out just yet. Hear me out. You know that at GangstarGirl.com, we muse, we is me, myself, and Starring, we muse about hip-hop culture, but from a female perspective. So you know that if I was trying to set you up on a date, I got your back. I wouldn't send you on a date if I didn't have faith in Kel Spencer and what he's trying to do and what he's about as a man. So, Kel and I met on Twitter and one thing that stuck out to me about him was his approach. He didn't do what 99.9% .9 of the other rappers do, which is just randomly throw some link at me and tell me to check out their music or say something condescending like, hey baby, hey sweetie, when you gonna interview me for your blog? Like, yeah, okay. He was just really cool. He just hit me up like a normal human being. We started talking. He got to know what I was about. I got to know what he's about. And he's actually working on a very dope project that I would like to be a part of promoting. So this project is called Salon Stories. Salon Stories is his first album technically but he doesn't like to call it his debut album because he's been in the game for a while he has some impressive accolades which i will get into in a few but this particular album is a novelty album and the reason why it's a novelty album is because it's geared toward women it's geared toward helping women understand better understand male female relationships but from a male perspective a mature male who's not going to say anything derogatory or disrespectful and who's open to, to listening to what women have to say salon stories is sponsored by perfect results hair care and hosted by mc light so that's also dope within itself and this particular project comes out october 20th now salon stories get it what do you ladies do when you go to the salon and get your hair done you gossip. What's the number one topic of the gossip? Men. What do you talk about? How to get this man in your life? How to get this man out of your life? How to get this man to do this or to do that or to stop doing this or that or whatever. It's just men, men, men. But it's a bunch of females. So at the end of the day, we can talk what we want to, but somebody has to open up the dialogue and get the communication flowing from both ends and this is what Cal Spencer is trying to do with his album another cool point about his album is one of his tracks which is called you're my girl is hopefully going to become the theme song for Steve Harvey's book you know the book I'm talking about act like a lady think like a man that book that everyone's raving about so keep him in your prayers for that we want that to happen but Cal Spencer is looking to take somebody out on a date and hopefully you guys can talk about any and everything relationship related um the idea is for you lucky young lady or lucky old lady who knows to gain some new insight on male female relationships maybe as it pertains to you or maybe you have a friend who needs advice we won't tell unless you want to but the idea is to get your testimony and just talk about how the date went and what you talked about and what you what you liked or disliked or what new insights you gained so the purpose is for you to be open and honest so if you're not a fan of doing a video blog then you probably shouldn't apply but if this sounds like something that interests you and you want to participate apply now, Kel Spencer sent me some questions. We decided that we were gonna come we were gonna have some questions to read to you guys, which I'll also post on the site. But you just answer those questions and you can send them to me at gangstargirl at gmail.com. That's gangstar like the group, so it's two R's in the star. Gangstargirl G I R L at gmail.com. Answer the questions. I'm going to read these questions off my desktop. And these are questions that he sent me. So, number one. Of the three categories I'm about to give you, which do you know how to do or are you most familiar with? And please elaborate. So, A, football. B, changing your own oil. Or C, playing chess. 
Number two, if you had to rent a movie to watch with your man, which would it be and why? So that's open to your interpretation. Question number three, this is a general question. What are the top three things that a man will not tolerate in a relationship? So whatever you think, hit us back. And the fourth and last question is, what is the definition of love? Aww. So yeah, those are the questions. And I know you're like, okay, but you didn't get into what else is dope about Kel Spencer. <laughs> no, he's a cool dude. Um, I'm going to actually read some tidbits from his bio just to let you know what he's been working on over the past couple of years because he's oh I didn't mention he's from Brooklyn he's a 20 something Brooklyn bachelor and his bio here we go so he's been a busy bee he's been in the industry as a ghost writer he's collaborated with artists such as Nick Cannon, MC Light, Rodney Jerkins, Teddy Riley and Will Smith and the dope thing is he co-wrote the award-winning, the American Music Award-winning Switch, which is Will Smith's song. I believe that's his song off of, I think, was it the, the Millennium album? It was, it was one of those, but it won an award, and Kel Spencer was behind it. Switch. So he's been doing a lot. He's been featured by Entertainment Weekly, Billboard, Double XL, Smack DVD, ESPN, Vibe. He's been all over the place. Busy worker bee. And... He is just prepping to get his music out there. So, like I said, Salon Stories drops October 20th. It's not, it's technically his first album, but it's not really his debut debut because it's a novelty. So he likes to call it a novelty album. And, I mean, I listen to some of his music, and he's talented. So I definitely can see that even though he's releasing Salon Stories, that he has a wider range as an artist. Um... I really appreciate this project, honestly. I think it's a good idea. And one of the songs from Salon Stories is Hugs to Hugs featuring Jesse Boykins, who I think is dope. So let's play that song a little bit so you can hear it. This talking into the camera is really weird, but <laughs> I like I like I like hip hop with this kind of vibe. But this is pretty much the vibe of the album. You can actually check out his MySpace, myspace.com slash Kel Spencer. Let's skip a little bit. Yes, no, maybe let her like junior high school. I'm thinking about all the stuff I might do. I'm thinking about how you cross my path on a Brooklyn block right off the Ave. I'm thinking. Okay, so one of the things I like about him too is I think he's a good storyteller. I look for that in rappers. And as far as the date, I don't want to ramble too much. We will let you know where you guys are going. It's definitely going to be dinner and some other extracurricular activity. Get your minds out the gutter. But it'll be something really cool. And I think something where you guys can talk and chat and that women can appreciate. So hit me up. Answer those questions. Hopefully you heard them in the video. Maybe I hope I wasn't talking too fast. But if not, they're posted below. So check it out. Check him out. And hit me back because we're trying to get a, get, get a winner by the end of next week. So you guys can keep it moving, get that date going, get the dialogue open. This is what we like to do here at GangstarGirl.com. I got your back. <laughs>